please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva, and happy Friday. I'm Tyler Tussle, and today we have an interview with the band director and tour of our new GTV studio with Isaac from Martin's Moments. All that and so much more because GTV News starts right now. Here are your morning announcements for Friday, September 17th. We have some exciting news to share with you here at GTV. Our new YouTube page is up and running. We'll be sending your, you a link in your email to subscribe. We're posting all our past shows and future ones, so please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Our new channel is called GTV 304. We need to get as many subscribers and views as possible, so please hit the button. Thanks, everyone. And for those of you who haven't met him yet, GTV reporter Isaac Martin is back with his first Martin's Moment segment of the year. Today, Isaac is showing off our new GTV studio as he gives us a quick tour of the changes that were made this summer. Isaac? What's up, Geneva? It's Isaac Martin here. Uh, I'm doing this on the whim, but uh, I'm gonna go show you guys our new set. So if you want to locate the room, it is right when you walk in the Mac Olsen doors. You take a right, and then it's this little hole right next to the vending machine. There's Miss Benny up there. Hi! She does everything. She's great. Take a right into the studio. Here's the first set. Uh, this is where we record all of our sports stuff. And yeah, Sports Shield, which is great. This way. Here's the main set. This is where they record the daily shows. Uh, you've already seen that one, and then over here is where they can do interviews. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Welcome to the studio. Thanks, Isaac. There's been some changes in our music department as well, due to COVID. GTV reporter Heidi Chillander sat down with band director Mr. Pat Frederick to tell us more about how they are planning to hit some high notes this year. Heidi? Thank you. And joining me today is Mr. Frederick, who is known as our band's uh, department director. So how long have you been working with us? I've been here at Geneva High School since 1994. It's the third job I've held as a band director. So I've been here about 28 years. What all do you do with our program? Well, my job entails teaching our curricular bands. We have wind ensemble, six, uh, second period, and then period six, seven. We have uh, concert band and percussion methods. I also teach uh, some of our music theory courses. We have four levels of music theory here at Geneva High. And then of course we have some extracurricular groups like our jazz band program, the Pitt Orchestra for the school musical. So a lot of different activities. You also are directing uh, with the marching band, correct? Yes. So how has that been um, considering COVID? It, it was a challenge obviously last year when everything sort of shut down for us. Uh, there's a lot of concerns about how safe it was to play instruments indoors. Uh, so we adapted. We, we did have a summer camp last year, but of course, with no football games in the fall, we couldn't have our normal year. We still learned about marching band and how to, how to march and, and read a drill chart, but we just couldn't put it into practice. So we're really excited that this year we've been able to ha have a pretty normal camp and we've gotten back to pretty normal home games as well. It's very exciting. Despite these challenges that the band has faced with COVID, what is something that you're proud of them for overcoming? Just that, to, to be as flexible and as patient as the students have had to have been this past year with all the many challenges and, and extra considerations we've had to make to keep band going during COVID. Uh, we can't do that alone as the directors. We need the students to be trying their best and, and they have hung in there and done a great job. And it's so wonderful that you're able to help us and provide this and these opportunities for us here at the school. Um, thank you so much for joining us and My back pleasure. to you at the desk. Thanks, Heidi. And be sure to watch for their performance at tonight's home football game. Varsity takes the field at 7.30 p.m. Blue Crew is planning on lighting up the student section, 
so if you're planning on going, make sure to wear neon and be on your best Geneva behavior. Auditions for the fall play are Monday, so get your lines ready. Sign-up sheets are in the choir room, in case you forgot, and get your smiles ready, too, because we'll be there to record some interviews and clips. You might want to put, on, put away those sweatshirts and coats, because today is going to be warmer than yesterday. The high will be 88, and the low will be 56. And now here's three to know before we go. The Alpine Club will be meeting on Monday, September 20th, in room KK269. The ping pong team will be held today after school in room H220. And don't forget to pick up a homecoming guest pass in the dean's office if you are bringing a person from another school. And a quick note before we go, Mr. Tom Rogers announced this, this yesterday. We just have another reminder to please respect our school and don't take part in behaviors that are going to land you in trouble. That's all we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Tyler Tussel, and have a great Friday and even better weekend.